Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, a super amazing announcement for every one of you out there. Our ultimate rag bootcamp using Langchain, Langgraph and Langsmith is live in Udemy. In this specific video, I'm going to talk about this amazing Udemy course, which will be at a cost of 399 rupees or $9 for the people who are outside India. But other than that, there's so many valuable things that I really want to talk what you'll be getting in this specific course. Three important things that I really want to talk about. Why did I come up with this specific course? The second thing is that how impactful this can be in your AI journey. And third thing, what all amazing syllabus I have actually covered in this specific course itself. All these things I will be discussing in this particular video. Please make sure to watch this video till the end because it will actually help you to understand why RAG is super important right now. Recently from past two to three months, I have devoted myself completely in creating this course. This course is entirely recorded by me. And the reason is very simple. Nowadays, from past four to five months, every companies are looking for generative AI engineers who can actually build RAG applications for good companies like PwC, ENY, product-based companies, even people who are working in companies like Infosys, Capgemini, everywhere, their clients want to probably go ahead and develop RAG application for their specific use cases where they really want to automate some of the workflows. And this information I got from many engineers who are currently working out there. Then I started exploring many things like what kind of applications they are specifically developing. And that is where from past four months, I started doing the research and it took me around two and a half months to do the entire recording. It's not like the recording is yet completed. There are a couple of more modules that will get uploaded in another two weeks. One is related to context engineering. And one more important topic is related to evaluations. I've already uploaded evaluation techniques over here, but I'm also showing you more open source libraries, which you can actually use for evaluation in RAG Bootcamp. Okay. So these all are in pipeline. Now I've told you why it is really important. Every companies are focusing on this right now. Any interviews that you actually go, the first question is that how do you go ahead and design a RAG application? Okay, what are the steps? What is the roadmap? What is the life cycle looks like? You know, when should we or which libraries to use? How to use it? Why Langgraph, Langchain are becoming much more popular? Which is the second best popular library? Which library companies are focusing on, on building this kind of RAG application? All those things. This kind of questions are really coming up. Okay. So in this specific uh, course, you are going to like, I have broke down everything related to RAG. Anything that you really want to learn about RAG, everything is over here. This can be the best book, best guide, best course for you all. You just need to devote at least every day two hours or one hour. Within one month, you will be able to do this because this course right now is of 28 hours. And probably I'm going to add more five to six hours of content, which will make this specific course complete. And whenever new updates comes, that also I'll be updating. As I said, this course entirely is recorded by me. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how the course syllabus looks like. Right now, this course is in 399 rupees. So all you have to do is that go ahead and apply a coupon called as best track. Okay. So I will be giving that information in the description of this particular video. What you will learn in this particular course, you will build traditional rack pipelines for accurate and efficient information retrieval. Implement advanced retrieval methods like hybrid search, multimodal RAG, and persistent memory. Design multi agents and autonomous RAG system using Langgraph for collaborative AI reasoning. You'll be using Langsmith for tracking, debugging, optimizing RAG flow in real world projects. So, we are not just building here, I have showed you the entire life cycle also. Then integrate Langsmith for tracking, debugging, and optimizing RAG performance. Use vector databases like Fire, spine cone, weave it efficiently. So we are using both vector store also, vector database also, wherein we will be discussing about various use cases. Okay. So here, uh, and yes, I've also created multi AI agents where we have worked with both text and images also. If you see this entire detailed syllabus, it is of 28 hours, five minutes. As I said, another five to six hours of content is being recorded. It'll take two to three weeks for time. 
recording is a very difficult process you need to record in such a way that when your mind is calm you really need to keep on working on it you need to keep uh, working in such a way that the video comes out in a better way so that is the reason i've taken some time and in couple of weeks i will probably go ahead and upload the recordings also of the remaining part okay then here you can see right now we go ahead with introduction then you have this introduction to rag where we understand what is rag what is the differences between prompt engineering versus fine tuning versus rag what are the core components in rag then we go ahead and start with data ingestion and data parsing techniques this is really really important because here with the help of python programming language i have shown how you can go ahead and do the data ingestion and also do the entire data parsing techniques which is relevant for creating document structure so here this in this particular module it, it is up for 2 hours and 39 minutes you will be able to see that i have discussed about all those things here we have discussed about vector embeddings different kind of vector embeddings that you can specifically use then you have vector store and vector databases so this is also like 3 hour 23 minutes you can just imagine I've taken so much of time developing the entire rack pipeline with the help of vector stores and vector databases. Vector databases, two amazing vector databases that I've used. One is Datastax AstraDB and then you have Pinecone. So this is also completed over here. And with the help of this, now you can go ahead and integrate any kind of rack pipeline with those kind of vector databases. Then we have not stopped there. Okay, this syllabus that is designed, I've kept on exploring more and more what is required. I've, I've seen multiple research papers to probably put up these specific topics over here. Then you have this advanced chunking and pre-processing techniques. You have semantic chunking with rag, semantic chunking with Python, how to build a rag pipeline with semantic chunker. Then you have this hybrid search uh, strategies, which is called like combination of dense and sparse metrics, right? Here, you are not only doing semantic search, you are, here you are also doing keyword search. How do you go ahead and combine them, right? With the help of LangChain, everything we have done. Then I've also explained about re-ranking, marginal, uh, maximal marginal relevance, what exactly it is. The best part is that I've also taken the mathematical intuition over here, okay, for explaining things. Then you have something called as query enhancement. Here in query enhancement, we discussed about query expansion, query decomposition, hide techniques, all the specific techniques we have discussed. Then here we have also spoken about multimodal rag and this is a very amazing project. And this kind of projects that I, uh, one of my student, you know, uh, he, 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 he was working in one companies and he faced this particular use case and that use case I tried to solve it over here, right? It is not the exact use case, but similar use case you can consider in that way. Then uh, we go ahead with AI agents and agentic AI, land graph basics, agentic architecture. Here we have discussed about different kind of agentic AI, uh, agents architecture itself. Then we have discussed about agentic rag, autonomous rag. In the autonomous rag also like we have discussed many topics like chain of thought, self-reflection, query planning and decomposition, iterable, uh, iterative retrieval, answer synthesis for multiple sources. And when we combine all these things, you get an autonomous rag summary itself right complete autonomous rag just imagine and you here you can just add keep on adding the components and you can play with them right then the next thing is that here you have multi agents rag in the multi agents rag we have discussed about multiple use cases multiple types one is uh, multi agent network then we saw supervised multi agent then hierarchical multi uh, hierarchical agents hierarchical agents is most amazing over here and if you see the examples that i have taken it's quite amazing then we did not stop over there we discussed about corrective rag self rag inside this only in, inside adaptive rag we also discussed about self rag you know then we have discussed about rag with persistent memory then you had CAG and this CAG implementation is quite amazing. Just imagine you have a different vector database for the uh, cache implementation and then you have another vector store which is connected to the LLM. So that kind of entire workflow we have implemented in this. And this is where I am continuing. You have this entire chatbot and RAG evaluation. Still two, two to three different open source libraries I'm going to use for RAG evaluation. Uh, and that is being recorded. It will be available in two to three weeks. Okay. Then not only this, uh, you also have about GraphDB. I have covered everything with respect to GraphDB and practical implementation with LangChain. So each and everything has been covered, right? And the reason why I'm making 35 to 36 hours because if you have all the specific knowledge tomorrow, you just go ahead and any kind of interviews, you'll have that entire knowledge of creating the entire life cycle of this RAC project. That is the most important thing that is required. Okay. Now, this is really important, guys. And, uh, you know, just at a feasible cost, it is $3.99. Just imagine 
from past three months every day giving seven to eight hours for this specific course exploring multiple things implementing multiple things i've re-recorded multiple times specific videos so that i can clearly make you understand about all these things go ahead and try it out share with all your friends and all okay this will be really important for me uh, because this course can help you crack jobs because that is the thing that is currently required okay uh, other than that, many people have also asked me the specific roadmap to go ahead with the Udemy courses. I will also give this entire link, uh, GitHub link. So here you can see that I've also created a structured AI uh, roadmap for learning from my Udemy courses also, like how you should basically start over here from uh, Python programming language to data analytics to data science. Here you can see I've also added ultimate rack bootcamp with Langchain and Langgraph. Where does it fall? Okay, huh. one more very important thing. What are the prerequisites? The prerequisite for this is good Python programming language and basic knowledge of generative AI and Langchain. That will be more than sufficient to go ahead and crack this specific thing for you, right? And the learning will be quite amazing because I've explained in a much more easier language, easier way. I've written each and everything, shown the flow diagram completely. So you should be able to understand it very much easily. Then here you have after generative AI, you have ML ops and LLM ops. Then you have big data engineering. You can also go ahead and explore this. One very important announcement is that um, every 5th, 15th and 25th, you will be getting new, new coupons for every month. With respect to that month, it will be either 0, 01, 0, 02, or 0, 03. Okay. Let's say if September month is coming, September 02 or 0, 01, September 02 on 15th. So now tomorrow is 15th, right? You will be getting a coupon on August 02 because this month is August and you can get all my courses within 399 rupees. So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.